Hello, hello. Hope everybody is doing great today. Here we find ourselves with a few Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. I must admit, I ordered four. Um, got them in yesterday and got home late. Was just too excited to wait. Had to rip one last night, did it on my Snapchat. Um, you know, it was pretty solid. Didn't get like an auto or anything, but definitely a big fan of these. Um, not sure if I have mentioned this or told this story in short in either of my first two videos. Maybe should have checked first, but pretty much the reason for my channel name. I am not Bowman Breaks, which would kind of imply I mainly do Bowman cards. I am Bowman's. So, you know, growing up as a kid, we all look for ourselves depicted in popular culture. You know what I mean? We look for our name and characters on TV shows. We look for, I don't know, our favorite sports team in a movie. But I never really saw a lot of my name really anywhere. Um, there was a, like a sergeant in like a Call of Duty game, I think Modern Warfare 1 or 2, that had my last name. It was like Sergeant, you know. And then, ooh. Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. Still cannot avoid smacking this camera. Um, and then I get into baseball cards. And, you know, don't really know anybody named Bobby Tops. But I'll be damned if my last name is not Bowman. And all the cards that I collect, all the autographs that I salivate over looking on eBay, just say my name that I've been looking to see my whole life and now what color thing can it be represented on so not Bowman Breaks but Bowman's Breaks we are going to jump on in we've got five base cards and then two mojo packs the mega box exclusive packs I'm not going to go super duper quick just because there's not a ton of cards here um, so, kind of just, you know, soak them in. Debbie Garcia, rookie. Andres Jimenez, rookie. Decent enough to sit down. Dane Dunning. Then a Dylan Carlson, rookie. Now, that is definitely good enough to set aside. Cat just running that mouth in the background. Always seems to just get excited soon as the lights come on. <laughs> Alright, we'll start off with a little JT Real Muto. That's a gorgeous card. Just a gorgeous base Real Muto. Frankie Lindor. Freddie Freeman. Now that's a cool guy. Post-World Series. Wondering where he's going to end up. Miggy Cabs. And then Kiebert Ruiz. A pretty solid rookie there. No Dylan Carlson, but solid. This will be pack number three. I feel like this will probably be maybe a 15-20 minute video. You know, not trying to spend an hour on these. And we'll start with Christian Pache, one of my favorite rookies from the 2021 class. Shane Beebs, Keston Hura, definitely a hyped rookie. See a lot of his rookies with like Tatis and Vlad Guerrero, you know, like triple autographs, and I'm like, really casting here? But, you know, he's young, never know where he'll go, you know. So this will be pack number four. We'll start with Jorge Soler. Unfortunately, in his Royals uniform, but goodness gracious, World Series MVP. What a player. Jose Ramirez. J.D. Martinez, Big Bryce, top three finalist for MVP, and then George Springer. Yeah, Bryce Harper, you wonder who's going to take the NL MVP. Um, Tatis, Bryce, and Soto. I love all three of those guys. I would definitely say I prefer Tatis and Soto to Bryce. Um, starting off with a beautiful Luis Robert here. Then a Mookie Betts. I think I would probably 
I'd like to see Tatis without a doubt, but Soto would be my second choice. Aaron Judge, you Darvish wasn't great this year. Joey Gallo just won himself a gold glove. Then we will have our two Mega Box exclusive packs. Got our Mojo Refractors in here. And this is where we've got a pretty decent shot at an autograph. Or, at the very least, a little color variation. And that's a Jason Dominguez on the front. Then a Patrick Bailey. Then a Miguel Blyce. That's a first Bowman. Then we'll have a C.J. Abrams and a Tyler Soderstrom. Pretty solid little set there. Obviously looking for first Bowman's parallels autographs. This will be our second Mojo pack of the first Mega Box, and that's Alec Thomas, Luis Medina first. Then we'll have a Dawn of Glory insert, Maximo Acosta. Then a Jefferson Caro, catcher for the Brewers, first Bowman. Then a Matt Manning. Not a bad first box. Gonna set those aside. And dig on into box number two. Got a, a hard box just up here off screen. Set all the solid finds down on just so they don't get ruffled up and everything else. But yeah, definitely a, a huge fan of Bowman product. Pretty biased, but not biased enough to not actually genuinely really love it. This will of course be another five base packs. And another two Mojo packs, aka Mega Box packs. Set those aside for now. Bumping the camera. <clears throat> All right. So these base packs have been selling in bulk on eBay. You can buy like 70 of them for like $180, $200. That's Brian Reynolds, Vlad Guerrero Jr., a finalist for the AL. Um, but it just makes you wonder, you know, I have not, Alex Kirloff, rookie, that's a good one. And then Jesus Sanchez, that's two good rookies there. Um, I haven't really seen or heard much about people, like, getting autos out of the base packs. I don't know that it's impossible, but, you know, you wonder, like, how good a deal that is. You know, it seems incredible. 350 cards for... 180 bucks, you know, the equivalent of what, like 15, I don't know, like 15, 30 packs. Uh, a little late for math right now. Tristan McKenzie, Casey Mize, rookie, Charlie Blackman, that's a cool looking card. Um, Christian Yelich, man, he just fell off the map this year. Fell off the map. And a Kevin Newman, nothing too cool there. But, I mean, if there's the potential to get autos, then that's incredible. You know, what if you get three out of 70 packs, and then aside from that, get, you know, half of, if not three quarters of all the first that you could have hoped for, you know, every rookie. I don't know, I wonder. Um, Tyler Stevenson, a very solid rookie. Very solid. Nate Pearson. Yeah, Sam Huff. Sam Huff, you know, I feel like he could turn out. He's got a lot of power. Could tell Marte, Kyle Lewis. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Last two base packs here of box numero dos. Looking like a real Muto on the back, and that is... Cronenworth on the front. Very solid rookie. One of my favorites this year. And then up next, Alec Bohm. Two big-timer rookies. Nolan Arenado in his Cardinals uniform. Josh Donaldson. 
crazy guy, big fan of baseball. Crazy guy, wild. Just kind of says whatever. Usually is right. Great uh, batting coach for honestly anybody. Um, Jesus Lazardo will start us out. Then Jorge Soler, again, World Series MVP. Jose Ramirez, JD Martinez, and then Bryce Harper. I feel like I almost got a duplicate pack. If not, I have certainly gotten all those players. Now we've got our two Mega Box packs. First up here, we are going to see a little. Could it be? I thought it was a parallel. Emerson Hancock from the goodness gracious, what a fail. Sorry, guys. Johnny Perone Bowman first. Glad that's the one I threw around. Um, Ed Howard, it's a pink parallel. His first, I believe, was in the regular Bowman earlier this year. Um, but yeah, solid card, numbered to 199. Uh, then a Jefferson Caro, another Bowman first. Then a Matt Manning on the back. So our second of the two Mojo packs here. Hoping for some color, hoping for some ink. Kate Cavalli on the front there. Then a Starlin Aguilar first Bowman. Hedbert Perez. Um, if I'm not mixing up my first names beginning with H, I believe he is a big timer prospect. I see some of his stuff going for crazy prices. But not too exciting to get an insert. Doesn't do much for me. Drew Waters, and then Tristan Casas. It's a very alert look on his face there. Very alert. This guy looks like a ball player, huh? Alrighty. Not a bad little haul there. A few first Bowens. Very good rookies. And we are going to move to our final... Chrome Mega Box of the Evening. Really hoping for an autograph in here. You know, mega boxes aren't guaranteed an autograph, but they are certainly a good value, and you definitely have a shot at one. Um, I can probably show the odds real quick. For anybody curious and coming to my videos for the information, um, let's see. Mega box auto. So much to look to. Creation Mega Chrome Autograph One in Ten. So that seems like One in Ten boxes has a an auto in the Mega Box. So not bad at all. Popped one last night. No luck. Just did two. Here's number four. It's four out of ten. What's that? Forty percent chance. Not too bad. All right. First up. Base pack number one. Can we get some last pack magic? Nate Pearson rookie, Sam Huff rookie, Cattell Marte, Kyle Lewis, Luzardo. All cards we have gotten already today. I think it's a 300 card set. Could just be pulling that number from other places, but I think it's a 300 card set. We will start things off with a Jazz Chisholm. In the update set, they added the junior to his name, but not quite yet in Bowman. Um, William Contreras, rookie. Tanner Hawk, rookie. Nick Madrigal, rookie. Hassan Kim, rookie. It's a rookie pack, but nobody I'm crazy about. I do like Jazz Chisholm. So, base pack number two.
five total packs left after this one. Starting off with another Jorge Soler, another JD, another Bryce, another Springer, and then a Clark Schmidt rookie. Alrighty. Base pack number three. It's a Gallo on the back. That'll be Luis Robert on the front, then Mookie, then Judge, then Darvish, then Joey Gallo. All cards we've seen already today. This will be the last base pack. And that's a Joey Bart rookie on the top. I've got a pretty cool patch of his. Not that really any patch is super cool. Tariq Scooball rookie. Shane McClanahan. Man, ever since the postseason, I am setting his rookie stuff aside. Joey Votto, gotta love him. That guy looks good in the uniform. Kills the Reds uni. And then Bellinger, just kind of resurrected there in the postseason. Can never really count him out. You know, won an MVP. Just uh, had a rough year, year and a half. Shaved his head, and that seemed to be the solution to all his problems. Um, here we have our first of two Mega Box packs. Really, really hoping for an auto here. And a big auto in particular. Maybe a Luis Rodriguez, maybe a Christian Hernandez. It's a Nick York on the front. Ooh, we got some color coming up. Ooh, that's an Alexander Mojica. Is this an auto? Okay, it's not an auto. It's just colored. So this is a blue parallel. Kevin made Bowen first, numbered to 150. Man, if that had been a blue auto, that would have been sick. It's kind of tough to see those numbers. There we go. It's a nice card. The blue matches his, you know, uni and chin strap even. Um, so up next, we'll have a Maximo Acosta closing out with a base Kevin made. All right. Nice little bundle for an eBay listing there. And then our final mega pack of the day. Can we get some finale heat? Starting off, Jordan Grosshans. Looking like an insert in the middle. That's a Jason Dominguez there. It is an insert at Gabriel Arias. This card here is about our last chance. It's a Matthew Allen. That guy looks pretty old in the face to be a prospect. He's born 01. Wow. And then a Marvin or Malvin Valdez first Bowman. That's a good looking card. So all in all, let's see what our best stuff would be. Some solid firsts. Nice color there. An interesting looking card you know everybody else is like an action shot I guess maybe he hasn't really played in his pro teams uniform yet so he just grabbed a pick real quick pretty interesting looks very young he is born in 04 so that makes him goodness 17 I guess he's turned 18 already 18 <laughs> man Pache Carlson Yes, yeah, so I mean, pretty happy with the rookie haul. Got Carlson, got Cronenworth, um, you know, your Sanchez's, your Chisholm Juniors. Um, nice little first haul. Couple bits of color. Would have liked a few more, you know. Would have liked an auto. I think this Kevin made, depending on his prospect stock, could very well end up being the jewel here. Um, but yeah, that's the. 
2021 Bowman Chrome Mega Box. Personally, I think it's a great value. Um, these first cards, I mean, fly up, you know. The kid gets called up, he hits two home runs, boom. Ten times what it was six months ago. So, I think for 50 bucks or so, which is where they are on the second-hand market right now, I think it's a solid buy, for sure. And a lot of pop, a lot of color, a lot of shininess in your face as you open. Um, so just a great pack to rip open, whether you're, you know, shooting a video or just popping it at home on your kitchen table. Anyway, guys, this is the third video for me. Um, if you see these, I appreciate you, and uh, hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.